If you are interested, what I need help in is for some people to type up what I say in my videos and I am going to use that to pass out to other people. So if you are interested in that, please contact me. God bless you. I believe I have been telling you all that you are going to reap whatever you sow. So let me tell you a story. I believe back in 2006, I went to the store on a certain day and I went down a certain aisle and I saw a bunch of 20s on the ground. So I quickly picked up the money <laughs> and placed it in my pocket. Then later, I saw a guy walking around as if he was or is, was looking for something. And I did not say anything because I wanted to keep the money. So I went back to my place and I counted the money. I believe it was around $300. So I was like really happy about that. And I may have told someone else about it. So I stole around $300. So maybe months later, I took a train to see a woman and everything was going fine, going fine. And I believe I told her that I was going to leave at a certain time, but she wanted me to stay longer. And she checked her phone to see when my last train was going to be. And I believe it was about three hours later or something like that. Three or more hours later. So I stayed and her and I were talking. Then she, I believe she walked me to the train station. Let me say this, to get to where I needed to be, I would have to change trains one time. So when I got to that station where I needed to change trains, I learned that that train was not coming until the next morning. I was thinking maybe I can wait here for, I forget how many hours, maybe eight or nine hours. Maybe I can wait here for that long and still be on time at the place where I need it to be. But I was thinking, I don't think I am going to be on time. So I took a taxi. And what I did not know, how far I was away from where I needed to be. So I took the taxi and I was seeing the money adding up and I was getting so angry about that. So, I got to where I needed to be and I learned that I owed the taxi around $300, almost or more than what I stole in that store. I was so mad, like I felt used. <laughs> and 
I paid it, but I was so mad. So I went to see that woman again. And I don't know if I told her what happened about me having to take the taxi. I don't know. But she told me again because I believe she wanted me to stay longer with her. She told me the last train and the same thing happened twice again. I was so mad. And I believe that time I called her and told her, look, this happened twice. <laughs> My point is, I did not connect those incidents with what I stole. You are going to reap what you sow. When you choose to do evil, evil is going to come back to you. When you choose to do good, good is going to come back to you. It is no coincidence. You have to match up your sins with the bad things that have happened and what is happening to you now. You have to. Because if you believe that bad things are only a coincidence, then you are going to continue to do evil believing that you are not paying for it. What if you saw a shirt that you really, really like? And you see that that shirt cost about $20. Now, some of us may pay for it, but what if in small print you see, yes, the shirt cost $20, but what we are going to do each month afterward, we are going to charge you $5 a month for a whole year. <laughs> Would you buy it? Of course not, because it is going to cost more than what it is worth. Your sins. It cost more than what it is worth. Look, I understand that fornicating may feel good. I understand that. Cheating on your husband or wife may be really interesting. I understand that. Taking someone's wife from their husband may seem fun. I understand that. Cheating and stealing may be fun. I understand that. Getting drunk and doing all those bad things may be fun. I understand that, but payment must be made. One of the main reasons why I changed, because I started to see, hey, my sins are matching up, matching up with my punishments. Let me stop, because this is not a coincidence. Yes, I enjoyed certain sins, but the price tag was too much. It is not worth it. Why overpay for something? Why? Why? And continue to do it. You are going to lose more than what you gain. This is why I stopped. One of the main reasons. The other reason was I don't want to go to hell, <laughs> but it is pretty much the same thing, paying more than what it is worth. It is not worth it.
I can gain extra money easily, perhaps, but with the reaping and sowing, I would be overpaying. I can do other things to advance higher, but if it is wrong, I am going to have to pay for it. So let me stay away from it because it is not worth it. Taking that money on that floor was not worth it. I may have overpaid because of that sin. Yes, I took the money, but I believe I lost more than what I took. So, so I overpaid. Don't overpay for sin. So what you should do is not sin or try your best to not do it because in the end, it is not worth it. Yes, I may be tempted now or I may still get tempted. But what stops me for one thing, I have learned a lot more. Two, it is not worth it. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.